how far is too far when it comes to corporate greed? Where exactly do we draw the line? I could name many examples of where corporations stretch the boundaries of what is decent, ethical, even legal while pursuing profit. And if they do cross some theoretical line in the sand, what do we do about it? What can we, ordinary people, do to a powerful corporation that has done something monumentally stupid? Well, we're going to find out. Activision Blizzard crossed that line. Now we're going to see just how powerful we ordinary people really are. Let's discuss. You probably already know the story of how Hearthstone Pro Blitz Chung spoke out in support of Hong Kong in the live stream. You probably already know that in response, Activision Blizzard suspended him for a year, refused to pay his winnings, and essentially fired the two presenters of the live stream. All of this to appease the Chinese government. In researching this new story, I learned something important, and it answers a lot of questions. If you are a foreign game company, by law you cannot operate your own servers in China. You must go through an existing Chinese game company to run the servers for you, and the game running on those servers must be a special version approved for China. In this case, Activision Blizzard goes through Chinese gaming giant Tencent to run the Hearthstone servers. That is how China maintains control and centers foreign games. Since only Chinese players can access those servers, it minimizes the danger of foreign instigators planting discord among the populace. Let's be clear, these are American companies helping a foreign country keep their people oppressed. Just checking. China is one of the world's fastest growing economies. They are an oddity of polar opposites. On one side, China has an oppressive communist government that strictly controls all forms of media and speech. On the other, they have a capitalist economy and privately owned companies. These are mutually exclusive. They want to maintain strict control over society while promoting an economy that only thrives in a free society. They cannot have both. The fact that China's economy has not completely blown a gasket suggests there is some kind of serious manipulation going on behind the scenes. This would explain why there are so many massive building projects that go completely abandoned in China. Yeah, there are entire cities and high-end housing complexes that are totally vacant, dotting the landscape. Foreign companies can make an obscene amount of money doing business in China. This includes game companies like Activision Blizzard. Apparently, they are more than willing to bend the knee to the Chinese to keep the cash flow. Even if it means helping them censor the speech of people fighting for their freedom while being based in a country where those same freedoms are taken for granted. Blitz Chung dared to speak out in support for the Hong Kong people, his people, who only want the same freedoms we enjoy here in the United States. And yet, we have people working in our government who want to turn the United States into a socialist nation just like China. The irony of that is totally breathtaking. But getting back on topic, Activision Blizzard isn't the only game company to capitulate to the Chinese to protect their financial interests. Yet what they did struck a discordant chord with hundreds of thousands of gamers. Gamers who are not just speaking out, but 
actually deleting their Battle.net accounts and joining a boycott of the company. Gamers who spent real-world money, thousands of dollars, into Hearthstone cards and just threw them all away and aren't coming back. There have been uprisings in the gaming community before. These were short-lived, dying down only after a few weeks, but something feels different this time. I don't think this is going to go away. Activision Blizzard was already in hot water with the gaming community over the recent Call of Duty pay-to-win situation. All of the unpopular changes happening at Blizzard Entertainment. I think there were just one too many straws on the camel's back. This incident has made an already angry gaming community absolutely furious. The Blizzard and Hearthstone subreddits are like lit thermite. I'm talking about subreddits with over 1 million users. Users who invested years and thousands of dollars into Blizzard's games. And they're just walking away. Activision Blizzard citing against freedom for money may well have started a chain reaction that will be their undoing. In a move that gives me hope for the gaming industry, the developers of the trading card game Gods Unchained announced they will pay for all of Blitzchung's lost Hearthstone winnings and a ticket to their $500,000 tournament. This was announced on their official Twitter feed. They join a cacophony of voices on Twitter, all supporting Blitzchung, giving him encouragement. Blitzchung himself is unrepentant. He isn't ashamed of what he did, and, and he shouldn't be. As a native of Hong Kong, he understands what is at stake and what it will mean if his people fail to earn their freedom. He told reporters that he won't be returning to Hearthstone after this year-long ban is over. I don't blame him. This whole incident didn't help China at all. If anything, it drew more attention to the plight of the people of Hong Kong on a worldwide level. Even the establishment media, and I call them that because we, the content creators on YouTube, we're the new mainstream. But even they, have picked up on the story. It has taken on a life of its own, and there is nothing Activision, Blizzard, or the Chinese government can do to stop it. The house that Bobby Kotick built pulled a Fonzie and jumped the shark, sparking a fire that could burn the house down. Out in front of Blizzard Entertainment's offices, there's a statue with a placard that says, All Voices Matter. Disgruntled employees, angry with the company's decision, covered that placard up. It was the company's motto for years. But now apparently money is more important than freedom. And a lot of people are not going to give them their money. I've been Mike Zorch. Thanks for watching Zort Central. I'll see you guys next time. Some Zort Central content is only available on LBRY at beta.lbry.tv slash at Zort Central colon E.